for another video. I changed my background a little bit. I hope I, I think it can be a little distracting. So I changed the background a little Let's bit. Let's get started. I'm going to do a what's in my bag because I'm switching back. I was in Chicago and I went to uh, Louis Vuitton to buy either a mini pochette or a pochette. And they didn't have them. I think they had one at one store, but it was the monogram. And I wanted the, the little checkerboard of being pattern so um i didn't get to, i didn't get one so i came home like craving a louis vuitton so i bought one and you're gonna chuckle when i show you which one i bought but let's start with what's in my bag all right this is a salvatore ferragamo and i love this bag i've had this bag for a lot of years but look at the condition it's in this is why i like to spend my money on good bags whether i buy them pre-owned or brand new. bought it at their last call sale this was a twelve hundred dollar bag i believe and i got it for four hundred four hundred or four fifty something like that uh i got a really good deal on great bag a lot of stuff fits in it it's a camel color i do have this for sale on posh but i need to take another picture because it came out really kind of yellowish i took it in a hurry and it's been up there for a while and hasn't sold i was offered two hundred dollars on it about a month ago but i turned it down because I just don't think it's, you know, I think it's worth more than that. So, um, again, it's just a plain tote. It has no loud logos. It just has some feet. Look at that amazing condition. And I've had this bag definitely over 10 years, definitely. And um, I just love it. But what happens also is that I switch my bags regularly. I don't wear a bag to death. Uh, this also has that, um, well, I'll show you the inside when we empty it. But it's got that, um, I don't know what they call the same lining that, that Louis Vuitton uses on a lot of their bags, kind of a velvet, almost like a suede. Like I still have the leather pouch that I think I'm going to switch off because it's starting to crack right here. I think the paint is starting to give way. I don't know. I may, I may switch out to some other ones. And of course, it came with the little thing for the credit cards in there, a little frame that I use to prop up my phone, which I don't long, no longer use that much because of that pop socket. I have a piece of jewelry that I bought yesterday, but I'm going to show you that in a actually several pieces of jewelry in there. I'm going to show you that later in a jewelry haul. I think I'm going to go live with that haul. More jewelry. And then of course just some loyalty cards and things like that I keep in here. I have a thing to clean my glasses. I have the little pouch that I kept from the Papillon that I sold a couple of months ago. I, um, I, I love these little pouches. Everything fits in here. I have nail files, I have a magnifying glass, a little doodad that goes to the iPhone, and a magnifying glass in there, some receipts that I think I'm going to keep for a future reference. But anyway, that's it there, and uh, the little fob detachable can attach to the little D-ring on the Papillon. All right, then I have my Elise wallet also from Louis Vuitton. Love that. Switch off to a bigger bag or a smaller bag and I don't have to switch wallets. And I was having that trouble when I had some of my other wallets that were bigger. I have a plastic knife. Why did I put this in my purse? I think because I wanted to recycle it. Okay, I have a letter from a subscriber. And I'm not going to show you that, but it was a very nice letter. That's the envelope, so I can keep that. I have my keys with... My magnet broke, guys. I think I showed you last time that I had a big old magnet that had uh, the name of my church on it, and it broke. It fell down, and now I have two pieces of magnet attached to my got there for the for when I'm jewelry shopping. I have the fingerless gloves that I hauled for you just the other day that I picked up for $2 at uh, a thrift store in Chicago. Oh, they're hand-knit. Beautiful, beautiful. I love them. And I love fingerless gloves. work in the garage, and um, it really, really helps with those chilly nights. All right, then here's my Louis Vuitton pen holder that I got off Macari. I have some fancy pens in there. Actually, I only have one. I'm going to have to look for the other one. Where could I have left it? I usually have two in there. It's an Acme pen. I never carry candy in here. Flavor this is, but they're usually drenched in chili powder, and they're either mango or lime. Or I have my little card holder for my eBay power seller. I love this little card holder. I have a rubber band ponytail. Oh, I have another little cloth that my husband gave me uh, for cleaning eyeglasses. I love this one. This is from Law Tigers Motorcycle Lawyers. They're friends of his, so he's always got advertising from them. I love okay, that. I have some napkins. I have some really nice cream. Dry, those dry hands in the winter. I have my headphones that I normally carry in here, but I was listening to um, some of you guys out there with your 
great videos. So I was listening to them in the car and I couldn't hear because we were in my husband's truck and it's a diesel and it's really loud. Okay, another letter from a subscriber. And then this is my Tom's. I'm doing good with the foods I've been eating and not having to deal with that heartburn. Okay. And another letter from my subscriber, part of the envelope. I have a light bulb. Yes, I need to replace this light bulb for the Scentsy. Um, I've bought a lot of Scentsy's really cheap at the thrift stores, and I have like four of them, and this one finally gave out. I love them. I keep them everywhere. I keep them in the dog's area. I keep them in the bathroom and everywhere. And then my daughter wanted one, and she's going to take one upstairs, but I have to replace that. Here's a receipt. I don't know where it's from. Probably a thrift store. Or a restaurant. <laughs> Goodwill. Okay, and that's it. It is empty, and I'll show you the end of there. Again, that's Ferragamo. Some people say Sal the whole name. Salvatore Ferragamo, or just Ferragamo. Ferragamo, Italian. Nice feet at the bottom. It's still super clean inside. I do, but I use it for like a month at a time. And the reason I'm changing, it also has a zipper in the front. The reason I'm changing is because the weather started, oh, there's something in the zippers. What is in here? Jewelry, yes. I didn't even show you these, but I'll show, th I'll show them to you now since they happen to be here. These are Sarah Coventry, and I have these in my purse because remember I told you that I was uh, giving some tips, some eBay tips to my coworker? Well, she had gone to Minnesota. She's originally from Minnesota. She went back for the holidays, and she came back with a box of jewelry that was her great-grandmother's. She said her grandmother died at 90, and they were kind of divvying up things in the household while she was there. And she had the exact matching um, necklace. She had the, it's like a medallion. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And I said, I cannot believe that it's the same one that I have that I just thrifted. I don't know where. I can't even remember. But I took it to her to show it to her, and she said, oh, my goodness, I cannot even believe that. So, yeah, anyway, I'll have to tell you a story about her later, about the her eBay um, exped expedition and her eBay endeavors, rather. She did pretty well with the little tips I gave her. Anyway, guys, that is the what's in my bag. That's what's in this bag. And I'm switching out, like I said, I keep forgetting. I'm switching out because we get into the rainy season, and I just don't want to get it wet. You know, I don't want it to, I don't want to have to baby it. I, I like using it and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of scared of rubbing it up against my muddy car or something. So I'm switching to this Louis Vuitton I purchased on Posh. And this is the exact Louis Vuitton that I sold about two months ago and that I showed you. Not exact, it's the newer model. I had this model that has the the dyed uh, leather. A lot of people think when they see this dyed leather that it's a fake Louis. It is not. This is the older Louis from the 90s and they did a lot of very, this. Very nice to have this kind of and I think Louis now is coming out with some dyed leathers as well because a lot of people don't like to wait for that process of having the uh, Vaquetta leather honey and turn color and you know with wear. So that was a good thing about So when I purchased this, she had it for $150 more. She, and I thought the straps were long condition it's in. The only signs of wear is a little bit of a discoloration on the zipper pull, but that is it. And it's a lot more structured. Mine, I think, because it was older, it had already gotten a little bit softer. But I thought that was nice, too. You know, it's really not, it's not a flaw of any sorts. And I just was very impressed with the condition. She did mention one tiny stain uh, that I can't even see now. Here it is. Uh, she said it had, a, it had a very small ink mark. And I always, one thing that I always think about when I decipher a buyer anywhere, if they're willing to show me every single flaw, even the ones that are vaguely there in a picture, I tend to trust that. And um, so I was really happy with it. I went to someone that, uh, I'm not going to disclose everything that she told me, but she was very kind and said that she was prompted to buy the Louis Vuitton Papi Papillon, Papillon from me because she felt she could trust me because when I did a what's in my bag haul, uh, what's in my bag video out of my Papillon last time out of the other Papillon I pulled out a rosary that uh, was given to me from that was given to me when my father died at his funeral my aunt gave me this crystal beautiful crystal rosary about a year ago that I let my daughter have it because she asked me for it she went to a retreat if she could have that rosary and I said yes so I gave it to felt that I would be someone she could trust and not 
sell her a fake bag or whatnot. So she wrote me that oh. wonderful note. I wanted to write her back, but eBay has this horrible habit of erasing messages. And I was going to go back up there and answer her immediately, and I didn't. And now I feel really awful about it. But um, the message disappeared. But it, And she also told me that she found my channel but that she does not subscribe because she likes to keep her footprint oh. I guess a digital or some kind of a carbon footprint or something she likes to keep it small so she doesn't subscribe to channels she just occasionally I guess glances at the YouTube so I was very honored that she said that about me I do definitely pride myself in selling things that I'm not going to um you know, I, I, uh, integrity again, we're, we're back to integrity. I don't sell things that are fake. I, I detest fakes. I think they are absolute garbage. I would never sell one. So I was honored by that. But anyway, I went ahead and bought this one from this posh seller. I was very impressed with her. She also had some very nice things in her closet. It also prompted me to believe that she wasn't just selling a fake bag and you know. So yeah, I bought it. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad that I got the Vaquetta now. There's just something about this bag that I keep coming back to it. I don't know why. I think it's because a class. it's a classic. I think because it's that picture of Twiggy modeling it that I had in my listing. So it's been around for a long time for this condition and um, the newer Vaquetta straps and the, the newer style. I was really happy with it. And this one also came with the pouch that was attached to the D-ring. have already checked the date code and everything, so everything was fine about it. So see, even the, the strap. Oh, and this one has a fancier hook. Mine has uh, just a little regular hook. Where is it? Here it is. Mine has just a really regular type of hook there. Still nice and gold fancier like version that kind of twists. twists around. Absolutely loving these pouches, guys. If you ever run into one, these pouches alone sell for a hundred to uh, eighty dollars. I have sold, bought, and sold this bag three times. My original one, my original purchase, I sold the. Um, I sold the I sold them separately because these sell for a hundred dollars, eighty to a hundred dollars. But yeah, I was really happy with it. the only issue I had was that it had a scent to it. Now it wasn't quite quite a storage scent. It was definitely not a smoke scent. Like, it was almost like an ammonia cleaning agent scent. So I don't know if it's something she may have put in there or what, but I have these uh, packages and don't do what I do, guys. You're allergic to scents and you, this and the other. Please, this is just what I do, okay? This is just for entertainment here. This was a uh, fragrance from, I think, a Ralph Lauren. But it's a very subtle floral scent. And I put it in here about a week ago, and it has helped. It, it's, I mean, because it, it really kind of struck me when I opened it at first. And that probably happens just from opening it, right? But it's gone now. I'm really happy with it. And uh, that's one thing you want to make sure that, that you're happy with as well. I've never had an issue with smoke. I, I don't smoke. And my bags don't smell like smoke. But I had ordered one one time, Ralph Lauren, just a plastic tote. And that thing smelled before I took it out of the package. It, it's it horrible of smoke, but I had no problem with this. And so this is the bag that I'm switching to because we are in rainy season. And this, the, the Louis Vuitton canvas bag, you could toss it in with a, a den of lions and it would survive. So that's why I'm using it. I absolutely love it. Thank you for joining me for this What's in My Bag, Bag Haul, and Bag Switch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And come back again really soon. I really appreciate you being here. I, I just wonder.